it's Gilbert again. Today, we will talk about representing data on a stem and leaf plot. Hi, Shauna. What are you looking at? This is called a stem and leaf plot, Gilbert. This is a way to represent data. This column is the stem, and this column is the leaf. Interesting. I have never seen one of these charts before. What does each column represent? Well, Gilbert, first, Let's look at the key listed under the chart. This shows us the stem, 2, and the leaf, 3, equals 23. In this particular chart, the leaf is representing the 1's place, and the stem is representing the 10's place. So, when I look at your chart, the title shows we are counting the number of customers who have visited in April. I see there were 60 customers, 63 customers, and 63 customers. Yes, you're right, Gilbert. Let's add more data to the chart. Yesterday, 84 customers came in, and I need to add it to the chart. I look in the stem column for 8, and in the leaf column, I will put a 4. This equals 84. It's almost closing time, Shauna. How many customers came in today? It was a slow day today, Gilbert. We only had 59 customers. Okay. So to chart it, we will look for the stem of 5, and then the 9 will go in the leaf section. That is correct, Gilbert. Why did you use a stem and leaf plot? We do this to gain an understanding of how many customers are coming through each day. We keep a monthly chart, and we're able to look at it quickly to see if our business is going well. Sean, you are Gilland. Get it? Brilliant with Gil instead of Brill. Yes, Gilbert, I get it. You always come through with a good pun. Now get trout of here.